I'm going to start. Okay, today we're going to do something different. We're working to do a picture from a, uh, and that's my picture from last time. I don't think it came out clear in that video, but that's that final picture I did uh, with the uh, picture reference. And there it is. Anyway. Show feathers. This is Sophie's practice. She didn't get much at a lake or didn't get the house either. Let me see if I can uh, take this off. Can you show feathers? There. there. That's Sophie's practice. Okay, now show feathers. These are the pictures we're going to be working from today, doing parakeets different references so we're doing things a little different today animal pic pictures but we're gonna make our own we're not gonna do any one of these what we're not gonna do any one well, I guess if you want you could but I was I'm thinking we're gonna this. use these and make an amalgamation make our own picture uh, of birds in the wild now that's what I'd like you to do so make a tree make at least two parakeets in the tree and you have references to work from so so that was the uh, landscape from the picture reference that I did last time today we're going to be doing animals This was the still life of Sophie. I did a still life. That was Sophie's still life. That was my demo. So these are just some quick painting classes. This is a painting Gracie did on her own. I don't like it. I think it looks more like clouds, but it was supposed to be water. This was her painting from the landscape uh, like reference, the but she didn't really follow instructions there. That was her still life. She did a good job on that one. Gracie's still life. This was her first. That was Sophie's. Oh, this is Sophie's first. Oh, no, 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 that's mine. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, Gracie's first one. And this was Sophie's, Sophie's first painting. This was a landscape from imagination. That was Sophie's. Sophie's has a lot of the brush strokes. See. Yeah. So now today we're going to be working from these parakeets, of our own parakeets. I already started doing some sketches but that's yeah so you're going to do, do quick thumbnail sketches very quick sketches so you find an idea for a composition you know you for example these are some thumbnails I drew of my own when I was going to make a painting and then I settled on this one then when I liked the one at uh, the design so it's mostly for the design then I worked it into more detail and then finally that's that finished painting over there I did a video on that painting and the one behind it. Excuse me. So it, it, doing these sketches kind of helps you put ideas together. And I, I actually thought that I kind of like this idea. I like this idea too. I may do this one or something like a combination of these three because I like the bird kind of tucking his face there. And I like the big face and I like the, this bird here. And I like this reference for the tree here. So I'm probably gonna mix those together and make something like this. I'll probably settle on this one here. And let's see what you have here. Let's see your ideas. Okay, these are Gracie's ideas. She's got a lot of different ideas. Is there any that you like the best at this point? I think I'm starting to like that one. Or maybe that, no, not that one, no, this one. That one, okay. Okay, and Sophie's working on some of her ideas too, back there. 
She's got some ideas, putting them together. She's got a bird on the tree. See, we have different ways of looking. Look at this one. So there are different ways to... So we're working on composition this time. We're working on animal, uh, bird, composition. Putting ideas together. Not one... Last time we did one single picture reference and just was working from a picture. This time we're using a bunch and making another composition. Okay, so like I said today, we're not doing a, a picture of one picture. We're going to make our own composition. We're going to do some references, some quick sketches first. Very quick, kind of like doodles, because today we're working on composition. So we're not just copying or using a picture as a reference. We're going to actually make a composition, and then we're going to use the birds uh, for a reference. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my pad here. Here's my pad. I'm going to take my pencil and I got my pencil here and then I go like this. See, well, these aren't have to be good drawings. I just do a quick line. Boom, boom. You know, it's not to be a good drawing. It's just quick. And I say, okay, what I did, we're looking for ideas. We want to explore ideas. So let's say, I, here's one idea. I got a tree here. I've got maybe some birds in the tree. There's idea number one. Number two, I might say, okay, it is just a single bird here. That's just a single bird on a tree branch. You see, it's not at this point about a good drawing. Number three, I might say, what about a bird flying? What about a bird flying? I like that idea. Maybe a bird flying and then maybe behind it on a tree branch. Maybe I got a couple of birds there on a tree branch. See, it's not really about good drawings. You see how quickly we do them? Mm -hmm. These are called thumbnails. You see? So you're already you're going into making drawings. You don't have to make drawings. Just quick drawings. ideas. Quick ideas. Okay. These are idea. These are just. Okay. What about if I had a house? You know, you just go crazy with the ideas. Well, imagine it was a house, and it's more like a like an like a, a signature of an idea. And a bird on the house, maybe maybe a tree here with a few birds in the trees. These are called thumbnails. A few thumbnails there. I, uh, you know. Or maybe I, I'm going to make a, uh, you know, this idea here is probably the one I'm going to go with. Maybe I would have another, another bird back here and maybe a bird flying. Or if I wanted a picture of, uh, let's say, I say, hey, how about if someone has their finger out there and uh, he's, got a, he's got a parakeet on his finger. I do it a symbol of the parakeet here on someone's finger there it's a quick sketch okay so you just just draw quick quick doodles and we're not gonna go crazy here i'll just do one page of quick doodles and i say oh uh, what about if there's a lake in the background and some mountains back there using our techniques of last time and then in the foreground what if we had a branch with a with a bird on the on the branch or maybe two birds. Maybe there was a branch down here and another bird. Now you can't really tell what it is, but when I look at it I'll know what I meant. And so I'm just drawing quick sketches and you know so this one would involve a landscape and then the birds in the foreground. Now I really as far as I know these birds come from where? Australia? Mm -hmm. So you maybe have kind of a tropical background no, back they, there. they're on flatlands. Flatlands? Okay. So maybe you'd have a flat land and in the Australia's background. And not tropical. It's not tropical? Okay. No. So maybe you'd have a tree branch. Maybe you'd have flat lands in the background. And then maybe you'd have some trees, branches in the foreground. And maybe a few birds on branches in the foreground. So anyway, you could get the idea. Okay, this time I'm going to be working from a uh, right from scratch blank canvas video okay now I'm gonna start the video okay here's what we're gonna start I'm gonna show you first what to do number one okay mm -hmm. now get first take your sketch that you like then you then what good? you do here is look then what you do is you start drawing the picture that you like onto your onto your uh, board see just a quick sketch out of the That's picture different. yeah but make it look nicer now more like what it looks like on there, but you're using. But I'm not gonna copy the picture. 
No, you, you're using that, but see how I'm doing? I have my picture there, but I'm using the ideas from here on the reference to make it look better, right? Yeah. So you want it to look better, more like the real, more like the real thing, but you're following your idea. I'm going to do mine a little different. I'm just going to paint through the... I'm going to go through here like this. Because you could do it that way. You could actually do it that way. Where you do a big sweep of the sky. Cover the whole canvas in a broad color if you'd want. And then go back into it with the other colors. Me, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm only going to use these as a guide. Remember, these all of the lines you draw there, eventually you're going to get covered anyway. But, um... I just think it's going to happen. How am I don't worry about that. That'll work when you do it. But is it, is it too dark? No. It's just a guide. Yeah. I'm going to take my, br my bigger brush now. And I'm going to say, okay. I got a, lost the hair on that brush there. Now, <clears throat> there's a grayness there in the, in the bird. The bird is, these birds are very white, a lot of white in them. The question is, what do you do? How do you make it stand out? Sometimes you gotta think a little bit before you paint. And I said, uh, are we going to finish here for now, Papa? What? Are we going to finish here for now? Right after we do the background? No, no. Oh. We have time. So I'm going to paint in here. And I'm working now on the bird. The first bird. And starting to put in the white. And I've got a lot of turpentine on the canvas already, you see? So the turpentine helps to, or the turpenoid helps the, the, uh, What's the, difference with them? the paint to flow. See? What's the difference? 
Wait, what? Turn on, turn on. This one doesn't smell. One smells, one doesn't smell. Okay. And here we got my first bird here, as you can see. And I'm putting, putting his feathers in place. Nice thing about painting birds is you don't have to worry about somebody saying, hey, it doesn't look like the bird. Like if you paint a person and it, it's doing a portrait, and it doesn't look like the person, then if, you know, somebody will say, oh, that's not. Okay, now what do I do? You can start uh, painting. I'm painting the bird. I think but my you canvas can paint is a little too wet right now and it might spread. So use a, use dry brush when you paint with the colors. Don't put any, don't put any um, serpentoid in the colors. Just use it for dry. Now Are you're probably going gonna to use a smaller. You'll probably use a smaller brush like this. Now, what I was saying I was going to do next <clears throat> to bring out highlights here, do a little more 
highlights here, detail here. Obviously, this guy's got to be done. Go over the sky, go over the tree.